Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video about my experience with Theop University. If you guys didn't know, I'm studying the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Physics with them and I just thought I would do this video just in case some of you are looking into it, don't know much and just have questions and I might be able to answer them. So the first thing to know is that the Open University is a distance learning university so you have to do everything online basically and I'm going to separate this video into different sections just so you can have it a bit more organized and the information is a bit more organized. So I'm going to start with the enrollment process. To sign up for any course in the Open University is really easy. You go on the website and you choose what you want and you basically just click sign up and pay for it. If you're going to study a longer course like I am, you can go on the course website and check out what classes and what modules you need for each year or for each stage I guess because you can choose however many years you want to do it in. You can have that as a guide and you can do other modules if you want. I recommend you stick with what it says on the course page and just have a read through because it has a lot of information about it. There are different options to pay and you pay for whatever modules you're signing up for so if you don't want to spend that much money one year you can sign up for less modules or you can also pay in different months instead of just at once and they just have a lot of different options also I think there are some financial aid options if that's what you're looking into now if you're gonna do a bachelor's degree like I am it recommends that you do it in three years if you're studying full-time or six to eight years if you do it part-time personally six years would be a long time for me to do it especially because I want to work in the area that I'm studying if I was doing it just for the learning process I wouldn't mind that it's six years or even longer but because I do want to start a career in that area then I wanted to do it in less time. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully do it in four years. It's a very flexible process so if you want to do it in less time you can do that. Just check out how many credits you need for the whole course. For me it works out to do 90 credits per year so that's what I'm doing instead of doing just one module this year which is what it recommended for part-time students I'm doing two which is a bit more workload. It hasn't worked out to be that much and it's not that difficult at least for this first year. So that's what I ended up doing. It is a distance learning university, but you do get some physical study materials. Everything that you need for the course, they're going to provide and it's included in the price that you're paying. At least for the most part, I do have some science classes which include experiments and those experiments I have to buy the supplies for. But the study materials and everything you need to study and to actually pass the course, they're going to provide. Now I'm taking two different modules, like I said, I'm taking a maths module and a science one. For my maths one, I got all the books sent in the mail, so I got a bunch of books. It's four books for the study part, and then you get a little one which is a computer algebra guide, and then you get a little one that you can take on your exam with you. And just an example, this is an example of a math book that I got. This is book C for MST 124, which is the first maths module for my course. It's just a regular textbook, it includes everything you need to study, some um, questions with examples on how to solve them and all that stuff. They're really good books, I quite like it. I was a bit worried there would be things that I wouldn't understand at first because when you're doing something like maths, sometimes you need more than the theoretical part to understand how to solve the problems, but it's all really well explained and I haven't had any issues really with them. For the science module that I'm taking, it's S111, which I'm not sure if it's going to continue next year, they were saying some stuff, I don't know. But currently it's S111, called Questions in Science, and for that one we don't have any books. So all the study materials are online and you get a page with all your modules that you're taking and you get a website with all the things you need really. So for this science one, everything you need to study is online. In one way it's good because I'm always on my computer and it's just really easy to access but at the same time I wish I could have it in book form because for me that's easier to study I think and to focus myself on studying. I believe most of the courses are not just online so you do get books but like I said there's a few of them that you would have to have a Wi-Fi connection and all those things for because everything is online. With that said, the website for each module is really, really helpful. It has a schedule based on every week and what you need to be doing every week to complete all the requirements for the course. So it will tell you when things are due, however many units you need to study for, what weeks and stuff, just keep yourself on track. 
which I find really helpful because I'm not that organized I don't think so it's really good to have what I need to be studying if I get lost a little bit or if I'm procrastinating a little bit and I go there and I see that I need to be a unit ahead then I need to do that unit the website also includes a lot of forums and things like that that you can talk to other students that are in your same um, course that are taking the same classes and stuff it also divides everyone that's studying the course into different tutor groups so you do have like a teacher, a tutor that you talk to that's just assigned to a few different students, like 20 students I think if you have any questions or any concerns or just anything that you want to talk to them about you can do that and they usually reply within one, two days I would say so it's quite helpful, at the same time there are also Facebook groups that you can join if you want to talk to the other students they're a bit more helpful than the forums because not that many people talk on the forums unless it's a requirement for an assignment or anything like that if you're worried about how you're gonna get your grades and how you're gonna get different marks and stuff here's how it works you get different types of assignments you need to do in a final exam for some of the modules so for example my science class does not have a final exam but my math course does so it just depends a little bit I think most of them do have exams but the science one is really introductory so I think there's just like a big paper you need to do at the end but you're gonna need to do ICMAs and TMAs the ICMAs are computer tests which you will have a few weeks to work on and when you're done with them you can submit they're really good for my math scores because they also help me practice and do different exercises and things like that for my science course it's only been math questions so far and they've been really easy because that's not the focus of the actual course of the actual module so it's been quite easy on that side but at the same time a bit disappointing that they don't include that much science in them i guess they might as it goes on but so far that's what i've seen and those won't count that much towards your final grade as the other ones but they're quite easy to do i think and you do have your own time to think about them and you know that if you have the right answer you're gonna get the whole point and if you don't then you're not going to but they're really good for knowing that you're doing things right I think and I don't know I quite like them and then you have TMAs which are the tutor marked assignments basically you have a few questions and you have to answer them you can do that on a word document or by hand then you submit that you scan them you send them in and then the tutor marks them and then gives you your grade those are more valued than the computer ones so they count more towards your grade and they're quite easy they do i find that my tutors at least they're really good at grading and they don't take points away for things that are not that important i don't think and they're also really helpful to learn that you're doing things right if you have the different steps and you might have missed a step or something i think it's quite helpful because you do get that feedback from a teacher from someone who knows more than you a bit of insight if you want to do the same course that I'm doing for the math one I quite like but at the same time I don't that you have to write everything down so you don't just write out the problem and the math that you're doing you have to actually write paragraphs of everything that you are doing and explaining every single step and why you're doing them which is good in the sense of maths communication but at the same time it just takes a lot longer to do but I do think it's helpful but I don't know just an insight you also get tutorials that you can either attend in person or are just online the ones in person is just a few throughout the year I think I have not been to any because I don't think they're gonna be that helpful for me if you live in a big city like I live in London if you live in the bigger areas they do have them in person and you can go and meet other students if that's what you want to do for me I don't think they would have been that helpful because I haven't had many issues with the topics or anything so I just didn't Think it would be helpful like I wish I would have gone to them to tell you if they're worth it or not but I just haven't and the online ones is just like a Skype call sort of thing with the tutor explaining things and you just listen to them if you want to talk back you can and you can also like chat on the chat room sort of thing it's a bit old-fashioned but I think it works to be fair I don't think at this level at least the tutorials are not that helpful just because I don't think the materials are that difficult that's another thing so far I think the courses are really introductory the maths one is a bit better and more challenging than the science one but they're quite introductory I mean it's first year you need to think that a lot of people who are doing this course are gonna be older people that haven't been in education for a long time so they might not be as used to these things or they might have never seen any science things in their lives I did study science up until I was 17 
and I do remember a lot of the things and a lot of the things that I'm seeing in my science class I've already seen and I already know so it's been quite easy which is good but at the same time I do like a challenge so I'm looking forward to my modules next year because that's gonna be more physics based so yeah quite excited for that and for my maths one it's been the first five units were a bit more introductory I think and then it's starting to get a bit more challenging and better and a bit more interesting like I was saying before there might be a few things that you need to buy aside from the things the course provides and that's for example for my math one I did have to buy a calculator because I didn't have one the one on your phone is not gonna work for this you need a better one so I had to buy that but that's quite cheap it's less than 10 pounds on Amazon I think and for my science one I do have to buy things constantly for every different unit you get different experiments that you need to do and you do have to buy things for them they're not expensive so it's not that big of a problem and if you can't get a hold of them they do provide an alternative and they do give you the results for the experiments if you want to use them instead you need to buy things like iron nails or like copper wire things like that that are not really that expensive so it's not that big of a problem I think the biggest issue with it is that you need to plan ahead and buy everything and keep track of when you're gonna need to buy things because some of the experiments take longer to do and things like that if you have any other questions that I don't answer in this video please let me know in the comments below and I will try to reply to those and maybe even do another video I know I'm gonna do another video when I finish this year with my experience with exams and everything so leave those below if you want to do that overall I would say that I do recommend the Open University I wasn't sure what to expect when I first went in, I didn't know if it was going to be good or bad. So far I've had a great experience and I don't think I would not do it with the European University. With what I know now, if that makes sense, I do quite enjoy it. I think everything's really well structured. If you have questions, someone's going to answer them. It's really easy to know what you're doing, I guess. Because I thought maybe because everything's online, you, you're not going to have other people telling you now you need to do this, but it's all really well explained and I quite like the structure that it has and how organized it is. Again, since I'm on my first year, everything that I'm studying so far is quite introductory and easy, if you want to say. But I do think the stuff that I'm learning, the stuff that's included in the units is good. I do have a few concerns with the science course more than the maths one. I think that one's a bit more... not as great, I could say. And I wouldn't recommend that one as much as the maths. But if you're doing the whole physics or mathematics and physics course, you do need both. So it's not like you can pick and choose. You can do that on the third stage, I think. But so far, it's all compulsory. But yeah, we recommend it and I'm having a great experience with it. If you have any comments below, any questions, anything, please let me know. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.